Welcome back to section 7.1. The next thing we're going to review is slope. So the slope formula of a line through two points. So again, we have that x1, y1, and x2, y2 for the x coordinates of the first point and the x and y coordinates of the second point is uh, that slope. Sometimes they use an m to represent slope. It's rise over run, which is the change in y over the change in x, or delta y over delta x. And how you calculate that is by subtracting your y coordinates over subtracting your x coordinates. And it doesn't matter which point you designate as your first point and which one you designate as your second point. The main thing is that you're consistent and that the x2 and the y2 go together. They're part of the same coordinate. The x1 and the y1 are part of the same coordinate. Y's should be always on top. I kind of remember that rise and Y's kind of rhyme. And so the Y's go on top just like the rise of a run. Okay, so let's try one real quick. So we're going to graph and then we're going to find the slope of a line through the points negative 6, 6 and 4, 2. So let's get our graph out real quick. So the point negative 6, 6 would be right here. The point 4, 2 would be over here. So this is our line. I'm just going to use a piece of paper for a straight edge so that I make a straighter line than I've been making today. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now if you want to calculate the slope, so we'll use a little m to represent slope, we're going to do the change in y over change in x. And I know it said y2 minus y1, but I kind of like things being positive. I'm going to do my first one minus my second one. So I'm going to do 6 minus 2. And since I started out with the first coordinate, I need to start out with my first x, which would be negative 6, minus my second x coordinate, which would be 4. And so if you notice, the 6 and the negative 6 are part of the same coordinate. The 2 and the 4 are also part of the same coordinate. I have my y values on top and my x values on the bottom. I am subtracting them. I know that we just finished doing some midpoint where we added them. And in uh, slope, we subtract them because we're looking at the difference. We're looking at the change. So from here, you're just simplifying. So 6 minus 2 would be 4. Negative 6 minus 4 is the same thing as negative 6 plus negative 4, which would be negative 10. And then I'll just simplify my fraction a bit, okay? A positive divided by a negative is going to be a negative. 4 and 10 are both divisible by 2, so I can simplify my fraction to negative 2 fifths. So that would be our slope. And if you notice, we go down 2 and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to get to the next point. Down 2 and over 5 to get to the next point. That negative slope always goes down from left to right. Now it's your all's turn. You get to try one and show me how much you've learned.